Greetings again. Uh, this is Brother David, and I hope uh, that this video reaches you all uh, having had a great week uh, and, and doing well. Uh, to be honest, uh, I have been thinking a lot about uh, this place this week. Uh, this, for those of you who may not know, is Jerusalem, Israel. And this view of the holy city, uh, specifically the Temple Mount, uh, the location of the Jewish temple in Jesus' time, uh, is actually from the top of the Mount of Olives, uh, looking to the west. Uh, this is your uh, typical uh, picture of modern-day Jerusalem. Uh, this would have also been the approximate view of the city uh, that Jesus would have had as he rode on the back of a donkey uh, down the Mount of Olives, across the Kidron Valley, uh, and then up the Temple Mount through the gates into the city uh, on Palm Sunday. Now, this, of course, is, is Palm Sunday. This is a time of celebration and rejoicing, but it's also a time of reflection. Because while this is a joyous time, uh, it sets the table uh, for the chaotic up and down week uh, that's ahead. As I think about standing on the Mount of Olives and walking a similar path that Jesus would have traveled down the mount, uh, I remember thinking how steep it is, but maybe it would have been easier on the back of a donkey. Now, about halfway down uh, the western slope of the mount, uh, you come to the church called uh, the Church of Dominus Flavit, which is Latin for uh, the Lord wept. This is the place history tells us that Jesus stopped and wept over the city of Jerusalem in Luke's account of the triumphal entry. And one of the most interesting things about this church is that it is constructed in the shape of an inverted teardrop uh, to recall Jesus' emotions as he thought of what the holy city had become and he knew what lie ahead of him in the next few days. To help you imagine uh, rising behind the city wall in the place of today's Dome of the Rock, which is a prominent Muslim holy site, stood the Jewish temple. A gleaming vision of white marble and gold facings and huge bronze doors. Beyond that would have risen uh, the Grand Palace, uh, then serving as the Praetorium, uh, which was the home of Pontius Pilate in Jesus' day and also Herod's upper palace with its three enormous towers. Now today in the church of Dominus Flavit, there is a window behind the altar that overlooks the city. The cross and the chalice in its design invite you to focus not on the Dome of the Rock, but rather on the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is the site that tradition tells us is where Jesus was raised from the dead on Easter morning. Now, over the next few days, um, I hope to, to bring you a few more videos that highlight various areas of Jesus' final week from Maundy Thursday to Good Friday and then Easter. But I hope you all are doing well, and I hope that you all have a great rest of the day and great rest of the weekend. God bless.